How to make a chocolate drip coffee mug. This tutorial is brought by Kiki and True TV tutorial. Hit the bell to be notified for all future tutorials. Ever wonder how you can get those chocolate drips with epoxy? Well, here's how. So first, I'm just, um, my cup is already epoxied. My, I'm using KS Resin Epoxy, and I've let it sit for an hour. Um, I'm using 12.5 ml of part A and 12.5 ml of part B. So after it's set for about an hour, um, prior to you know mixing it, I added the antique antique copper pigment and two drops of brown acrylic paint. So it should feel like taffy. That's how you know when it's ready. Just like taffy candy, um, every epoxy is different. Um, this is only for KS resin epoxy. For other epoxy, if you're using, if you're using other epoxy, you're just, you're, you will have to sit and, you know, watch it to see how long it takes um, for it to become that taffy that taffy type texture that you're needing. I like to put it on my turner because it makes it a lot easier for me to apply the drip this way to where I have more control. And you have to be really patient, just take your time. Um, you're not making the drips yet. You just wanna make, uh, first start off with a, just a line at the rim of the cup. So I'm just gently applying enough around the rim. And like I said, it's gonna be, the texture should be like a taffy, taffy candy texture. That's the type of texture you're looking for. Not too runny, not too thick, just like taffy candy. So once you, um, you're you able to achieve that taffy candy texture, then you're ready to apply it to your cup. So like I, um, as I mentioned before earlier, it's always best to put it onto your turner so you have more control of your cup. And I'm just going to continue the same process going all around the cup. Now, if your epoxy seems to, um, maybe it's already curing, you can apply a heat gun that will cause it to, you know, softened up. Um, after I went around the whole cup, I took it off of the turner um, to apply more of it towards the top of the rim rather than on the side. And as it's facing up and down, you can tell, you can look at the side there. Now the epoxy is starting to drip down on its own. And you can just keep applying however much epoxy, you know, you would prefer um, until you achieve that desired look. I'm adding a little bit more epoxy to more areas where the wording is not, where the, where the words are not at um, to get more of that drip. I like to apply a little bit towards the handle just to achieve, a, you know, I like the way it looked. And then to control the drips to keep it from stop dripping, if you like already how much it's already starting to drip down, turn your cup upside down to stop the drips, to stop the epoxy from dripping down more. So as you can see, I'm already done. I like how, how the look how it looks on the mug. So I'm turning it upside down because I do not want it to drip anymore. I'm going back and I'm applying more epoxy. Um, that right there I just showed you was an air duster. I used that to kind of cool the epoxy to slow it down instead of blowing on it. That helped. All right, so there you go. I'm pretty happy with how the drips turned out did not take me that long. Um, it's a real easy process. Just be patient and, you know, be prepared to hold the cup upside down until you're, 
you know, you don't want the drips to go any further or until the epoxy starts curing more, um, is almost cured. It's not gonna be completely cured, but it's not gonna move anymore. And there you go. So once you are ready and you're happy with it, uh, you can apply it back to your turner carefully, like I've shown here, and I just continue to let it turn. After the next day, I took it off of the turner and you wanna clean the rim. So when you clean the rim, you wanna use an X-Acto knife with a new blade. You don't want a sharp blade. Um, slightly tilt the blade in an angle, turning the cup all, I first start in the inside of the cup to clean the edge inside, to clean the rim inside. And then after I'm done, then I'm gonna run the blade on, on the top of the rim. And I'm gonna continue to do so all the way around the cup. Take your time. If you feel that the epoxy is starting, you know, to lift a little bit too much, then slow down. Doesn't take very long to clean the cup. That's it. Nice clean rim around the cup. Next is pitcher time. Um, to stage your cup or, you know, if you want to take pictures, I found that putting a plastic cup, fill it with a napkin, instead of wasting um, whipped cream, it helped the cleanup process a lot better rather than filling the cup full of whipped cream. <laughs> that worked really nicely for me. Hope you enjoy, and there, there you go. There's the chocolate drips. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you liked